are late, so they asked me to come fill in. Um, they took the Chinatown bus down, and the text I got was they had to get out and push. <laughs> so it should be a few minutes. Um, they asked me to come in here and introduce the show. My name is Pete uh, of Chickies and Pete's. <laughs> um, you might be familiar. Uh, I run a very successful restaurant chain in the tri-state area. Um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about our history. Um, let's see. Uh, we started back in the 70s. Uh, I ran a crab shack off the Black Horse Pike in South Jersey. <laughs> and uh, there, it was just called Pete's at the time. Um, I sold discarded crab shells stuffed with french fries. Uh, they were delicious, they were delicious, people loved them. Uh, but I had dreams of going to the big city, to Philadelphia, and opening up a sports bar. Um, so, in 77, I think it was, uh, <laughs> that was it. Uh, and I moved to Philadelphia, uh, not a dime to our name. Luckily, we located a fire-damaged Arby's off of Broad Street. <laughs> that became the uh, first location for Chickies and Pete's. Um, and then one day, miraculously, um, it was great. Uh, Chicky stole a crap load of kitchen grease from a local high school cafeteria, and we were ready to start a restaurant. <laughs> uh, we now have locations, uh, let's see, as in such far-flung places as North Jersey, uh, Mid Jersey <laughs> and the Philadelphia Airport. <laughs> my personal favorite location. Uh, you know, before I go on though, I should probably introduce my uh, my better half, the love of my life, um, Chicky. Everybody, let's uh, Chicky come on out here, baby. <laughs> now, this may, this may seem a little odd, I know what you're thinking, okay, but uh, what can I say? I like tall women. <laughs> you're cute, I love your bow. Um, so, <laughs> well, Chicky was the one, Chicky, uh, before you came out here, I was just telling them about how I wanted to start a sports bar, and uh, you were actually the one that had the million dollar idea. What was that idea? Crap! <laughs> That's right, crabs. That's right. Crabs on everything, okay? Everything is crab. Cheese steaks with crabs, jalapeno crab poppers, um, fruit loops dipped in crab batter, and then deep fried. Um, it was amazing. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. What restaurant chain do you know of, okay, that serves that much crab and is located at an airport? <laughs> exactly. Zero, okay? I'm glad you brought that up, Chicky. I'm glad you brought that up. Um, we have a special sauce, okay? It's a secret family recipe. Um, and I can hear, I can tell you, I can't tell you the whole thing, but I can definitely tell you that it's not just ketchup and salt and some of my dandruff, okay? There is a whole hell of a lot of other ingredients. Um, oh, also, we get a lot of questions about the sign. Because your name is on the sign. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Chickies apostrophe S and Pete's apostrophe S, okay? This is so we wanted everybody to know that we both own the restaurant, okay, simultaneously. Um, this is South Philly grammar, all right? It's called to possessify and to pluralize. <laughs> you don't know this if you had gone to St. Judas of the Ascension down on Tasker Street. Okay? You don't know this, okay? So, just... Thank you, Thank you, Wex. Oh, my God. All right. I just want to give you a little tidbit. Um, we actually, uh, the way we fell in love, um, I was working at a diner, all right, uh, down outside of Camden. And um, I was serving up, we specialized in ostrich eggs, okay? And we had the omelets that we uh, cooked up. And it was, a, it was a good time. So they shipped in a bunch of eggs. I'm not sure where they came from, Korea, some other place. And there was this one that was, like, extra moldy and disgusting, and it kind of smelled up the entire place. And I was meaning to cook it. I was like, I better cook that one first. Kept forgetting about it. Um, so then one night I was, like, robo-tripping, okay? It was crazy, all right? And then I decided to fertilize it with my own sperm and some Old Bay seasoning. 
And next thing you know, about nine hours later, I had chicken. <laughs> right here. Um, and you know what? She's really the only one that truly understands me. <laughs> she really is. Um, what, what, Babies! What's happening? What's happening here? Oh my god, babies! <laughs> babies, everybody! Oh man, this is a special moment. You see right here, um, Chicky has babies every other day. Oh, she's eating her young. She's eating her young. I mean, I tend to indulge too myself. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. So many kids, we could never support them anyway. <laughs> There's another one. Um, we'll have more of these after the show to pass around. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a text message. Hold on here. Um, oh, yes, it seems that Tabitha and Jason are here. We'll catch up with you all after the show. Okay? <laughs> Grabbing us, introduce them, and it was a good... Excuse me. Um, what the hell is this? Hey, Chicky! What the hell is this? Get the hell out of here! <laughs> Chicky, what the hell is this? <laughs> no, this is not crafts, okay? Not everything is crafts. <laughs> this is a contract. Apparently, you signed a contract to be the new Subway sandwich spokesperson. Okay, you betrayed me, Chicky. Why would you do this? What happened to Jared? Dead! He died? <laughs> what did he die of? Crabs! No, he didn't die. <laughs> you can't die of crabs. I have crabs, okay? I'm doing fine. All right? You know, I'm sorry to end the show this way. I really apologize. Uh, we got a couple things to work out, obviously. Um, for uh, temporarily, Chickies and Pete's will no longer be called that. It will be called uh, Pete and Pete's. Um, and uh, there will be... Uh, it would just be owned by me temporarily. Let's work this out. We're going to go have some makeup sex after we argue. Probably very humid. And, um, <laughs> remember, half-price crab shooters, uh, during every Phillies exhibition game. Okay, guys? Thanks very much, all right? Woo!